Reporting to you live from Kill the Noise Studios in upstate New York, I am your man Kill the Noise, and I'm here today to show you guys two combinator patches that I've created for Reason 4.0. Without any further ado, let's uh, crack open the program and take a look around. I can demonstrate some of the sounds that this thing can make. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is open up an empty rack inside of Reason and create a combinator. Next thing we're going to do is load up one of the two patches. First one's called the noise machine. And as you can see on the front here, we got the noise machine graphic. And down below, got a bunch of Maelstrom grain table synths and some distortion units, a little bit of reverb, some limiters, uh, just a bunch of processing on the sounds, nothing too crazy. Um, once you guys get a hold of the patches, I hope that you come down below here and start messing around with some of the parameters and tweaking out the sounds, because I'm sure that you can come up with some cool things using these presets as a base to work off of. And those of you who have written me messages and stuff online asking how I got certain sounds, I think this will give you a good start. A good starting point to kind of build off of and can flip around in the back here and see some of the signal flow and start getting a general idea of at least how I do things in the studio. I use these maelstroms for a lot of stuff, bass lines, lead synths, um, effects. So anyway, for the time being, let's close that up, get it out of our way, and let me demonstrate some of the sounds here. I'm just going to draw in a note. So that gave us a good tone for that sound. So the default here is just a distorted saw. And like I said, once you guys get your hands on this thing, you can come down here below and tweak it out some. And... make a more tweaked out version of the preset that I got here. Um, so let me show you some of the rest of the noises we got up here. So noise three is the distorted saw sound. Noise one is a drum and bass kind of influenced noise. It's like a Juno detuned saw Hoover kind of family of noise. Number two, one of my favorites. Up top here. Makes for a good like trance lead <laughs> if you're making trance. <laughs> Speaking of trance, we got another lead sound over here. Draw a couple notes in here. So that's a general rundown of some of the noises that this thing can make. And there's a, a decent spectrum of sound you can get out of this thing. And like I said before, I hope that you guys spend some time messing around with some of the dials and knobs and filters and stuff on these to customize some of the noises to better fit what it is you're working on. And by all means, definitely use it. And some of the new tracks that you're working on at home. Now, moving on, Wobble Machine. Let's check out what this thing can do. I'm going to draw a note in on the sequencer over here. And enough talking, let me just play some of the sounds. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
So we'll put a little saw on now. So that's a wobble machine. Pretty easy way to get some wobbles in under a couple seconds. No need to set up any synths to do it. All you got to do is load up the wobble machine. And like I said before, you can go down below here and mess with some of these settings to fine tune your wobbles and give them a little character. One of the latest tunes that I've been working on is this remix I'm doing for Black Lips called the drop I hold and I use this wobble machine to create some of the wobbles in that track. Um, obviously I bounced them, resampled them and did some other crazy filtering on a lot of the wobble stuff in that track but I use this thing for some of the sounds in there. Um, so anyway these are the two combinator patches that I'm going to be making available to you guys on my website killnoisekill.com um, any feedback and things like that you can Email me, info at killnoisekill.com. And I hope that you guys enjoy messing around with this thing, and I hope you learn a little bit about the way that I do things in the studio, for those of you interested. And definitely expect to see more of this kind of thing. I don't have time always to put stuff like this together, but I definitely get a lot of joy for helping out some fellow bedroom producers out there, because that's where I started. And definitely helps having people out there share information. And hopefully you guys at some point down the road are able to share some of your studio tips with me. Um, thanks for your time. Kill the noise. Peace. <laughs>